things are looking very exciting these days. So we're gonna go over some of the new Blender add-ons and updates that can help you to work faster and improve your modeling, texturing and other stuff. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with an add-on called Realistic Touch, a tool that is simple in spirit, but very important in so many aspects. Now, let me ask you a question. What is the secret behind the art of photorealism? That's right, it can be many things, but one of the most crucial parts is texturing. And this is exactly what Realistic Touch is gonna help you with. And it currently consists of over 204K and seamless textures, which is fantastic. Among these, we can find styles such as fingerprints, dust, scratches, grunge, you name it. And what makes it even better is that they were optimized to work with Blender. All you need to do is just drag it and drop it into the shader editor from the asset browser, for example, and you are good to go. Each node also comes with a collection of adjustments, such as the ability to change the brightness, contrast, or colors. And this is all there is to it, like I said. It is simple, but very important. For example, you can use them to add subtle details, stack them on top of each other, or anything really. Imagination is the only limit. Next we have Flora Paint, another newly released add-on, but this time it is not only limited to textures, but rather it offers more than 500 stylized resources which are split into 10 categories of assets such as grass, trees, flowers, or anything else in between. What I also really like about this add-on is how these assets aren't just thrown together randomly, but there is an actual style across the board, and they could fit well into any production which needs stylized assets, like anime, cartoons, or even concept arts for that matter. On a side note, this add-on also comes with its own scattering system, and while it is not fancy, it still can get the job done, since it supports the most important features such as density, scale, and rotation. The assets are also highly customizable. For example, the trees can be mixed with different textures, colors, and color adjustment settings such as shadows and hue. On top of that, they also include dynamic animation effects and many other stuff. Creating stylized environments and animations is fun. But nothing can be more fun than destroying stuff. And here is the good news. RBD Lab got a new update with its latest 1.5 release. First off, for new people to the add-on, it gathers all the physics features within a neatly packed side panel. And a lot of other add-ons do this. And I think this is even more beneficial for physical simulations because the tools for that are all over the place in vanilla Blender. For example, on the side panel, we have particles and collisions next to each other, whereas in Vanilla Blender, we would have to open many side menus to access them and make them work together. Now, in terms of physics simulations themselves, it covers all the expected areas such as object fracturing, destruction, dust, smoke, as well as soft body, clothes, and much more. But why is it different? According to the developers themselves, this add-on is based on rigid bodies, which would allow for interaction between the different simulations, something that was never seen before in Blender. Now, in terms of the update, you have now the ability to deform metal or shatter it, starting from RBD Lab version 1.5. So, as a result, it allows you to perform realistic simulations of metal deformation, which is not something you can do easily in Blender. Speaking of updates, we also have Clean Panel Pro, the newly released upgrade version of Clean Panel. And if you are like me, you probably use add-ons a lot. As a consequence, you know for sure that the user interface can get really crowded, and the struggle is how to know which add-on is which. So Clean Panels is a tool that helps us address this issue and organize them into groups. But how about the Pro version? Well, you can think of this upgraded version of Clean Panels as a deluxe version with an extra set of features. For example, selecting which add-on will start running when Blender is opened, which can eliminate loading time, and this is really useful if you open and close Blender regularly. The tool also offers multiple ways to access the add-ons, such as a drop-down and a pop-up menu, and many more other features that we can't all cover in this video. 
Also, if you are using Blender, you are probably not very happy with how much tools and features it has when it comes to creating clothes and cloth assets. Luckily for us, we have Simply Cloth Pro, which recently got a new update with the introduction of Simply Cloth version 3. If you are new to this add-on, it is a fantastic tool for ready assets of all sorts of things like men and women clothes from shirts, pants, underwear, accessories, you name it. You also have a simulation button to convert the patterns into clothes, as well as close parameters, pressure adjustments, sewing options, and much more. Now, with the new update, you can now draw cloth sets on the body of the character, for example, and it will be simulated and adjusted using the parameters that Simply Cloth comes with. There is also now the ability to enhance your cloth that you have simulated, which is a nice addition. On a side note, from the same developer, there is an add-on called Simply Material, which goes hand in hand with Simply Cloth Pro, allowing you to create fabric materials for a wide range of clothing items. So if you create a piece of cloth in Simply Cloth Pro, the other add-on, which is Simply Material, will help you add materials to it and make it look amazing. There was also a recently released add-on called Windy Fields, which is a new Blender add-on that allows you to create animated fields using wind simulations, hence the name Windy Fields. To start using the add-on, you just need to create vegetations or plant collections. Then you can choose one of the provided geometry nodes that are gonna help you to make the magic happen. Then drop it on your terrain. After that, you can of course use different collections and throw into the mix if you want to. But the most important thing here is wind settings, like breeze settings, breeze speed, and breeze coherence. This, in addition to gust settings, which offers much options to create dynamic and good looking environments that include moving vegetation elements such as grass, flowers, shrubs, and any other thing that you can throw into the mix. This is a small add-on, but it can be useful in different places, especially the animation side of things. So you can bring different assets from other places and throw them into the mix to create good-looking animated fields. From the same developers of Smoke Wish, this time we have Smoke Studio, which is an add-on that uses different VDB presets to create cool-looking shots, especially for product advertisements. These VDBs include Magical, Clouds, Around, Extensions, Ground, and other random VDBs. This, in addition to other options like Upwards and Backlit, to fit your product visualization needs. And since they are ready VDBs, I mean the options are gonna be limited. So the developers here are trying to provide some options to help you work on your projects without having to create things for yourself manually, and this could help really. On a side note, just like other add-ons that use ready VDBs, this one is gonna be processing power intensive. So you have to have a very good machine to be able to handle working on your project smoothly and without any trouble, especially if things got really complicated. So you have to keep this in mind. Guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.